Hey babes, what's up? Welcome or welcome back. Cosas came through with a new foundation and we have to see what's up with it. Foundation that doesn't feel makeup y. I'm dying to see what's the real deal with this foundation. I'm super in love with the packaging. I actually love this packaging since the concealer came out. I got the concealer because of the cute ass packaging. So thank you, Cosa. The last packaging with this yellow bright cap, it is everything to me. I love it. This one is a Revealer Skin Improvement Foundation SPF 25. $42 and made in USA. It is a clean foundation plus skincare treatment plus SPF. Available in 36 shades and it comes with one ounce. And this is a clean foundation plus skincare plus SPF. Let's shake this real good. Mm. I picked up the shade 190. It is for light medium skin tone with natural yellow undertones. I don't like yellow undertones in my foundation, but I didn't have another choice to pick this shade up. They don't have no child undertones by itself. That's one of the issues that I'm always having with Colsas. I feel that the shades are off and they definitely need more shades in between the shades that they already have. When it comes to the concealer, they don't have my perfect shade. And they don't have a shade that I really like and enjoy for my under eyes. You're not going to believe what shade this is. This is the shade number one. It is a bit too light for me, but everything else after this, it's off. It's too yellow or too pink, too cool, too olive. What are we doing here? I'm gonna apply a little bit right here on the back of my hand so we can feel the texture. Not too watery, but it is definitely liquory. I think this looks a bit too yellow for me. Fuck. See, this is what I don't like. Like, why can't you just give me something with just neutral undertones? Why? This have a natural dreamy finish. It blends like a second skin, it blurs, a smooth texture, and minimize pores. Hmm. Okay, I think once we blend it, it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna leave it in the back of my hand so we can see if it oxidizes. And I'm not disliking how it's blending with my finger, but I'm not loving it neither. So let me pick up a brush. I'm using my Rare Beauty Foundation brush. And this foundation have hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, peptides, squirreline, and a vitamin B5. Besides that, it have Arnica plus caffeine. Arnica to me, it is everything. I want to cure everything with Arnica. <laughs> Gray, anti-inflammatory. It soothes, it plumps, it's so good for bruising, for dark circles, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles. It boosts healing, it clears up acne and other skin inflammations. I love Arnica. This is one pass. Mm. I love how pretty it blended with the brush. I mean, the shade. It is not like spot on, but once you blend it, it doesn't look that bad. I feel that it's a bit light for me. Hmm. Right? It is. Let me see what's up if we build it up. I want to see what type of coverage we get. It is supposed to give us a medium coverage. And the more I applied, the lighter it looks on me. Damn, I didn't think the shade was going to be light on me. If anything, I thought it was going to look yellow, but not light. Without, you see everything peeking through right here. My redness. It did give me a nice, beautiful coverage. Ignoring this right here, though. And... It did blur my pores. Noticing that right here by my nose, see how it looks like it's cracking a little bit? And that's a little weird because I'm not even done applying it and it's already getting like that, you know? 
and i have my holy grail skincare like i'm wearing my regular tatcha dewy cream my la mer toner my sunscreen i mean let's apply it on the other side and let's see if we go through the same situation i'm also peeping and not really liking the way it glints right here on the dryness and the texture that i have from the burn this shade it is definitely too light for me you know like look at it starting to look like that for the friendly dance and then from time to time it have like like a light but like a little smell that is not too pleasing but it's like really light and then you don't smell it all the times like right now i don't smell it but i did smell it before when i first started to blend it so i already blended it on my whole entire face i don't know i'm just not too like yes how about this foundation i brought you in really quick because let me show you how it's sitting on top of the skin look see look how i blend 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 and it doesn't matter how much i blend the foundation look it's still sitting on top of my skin see that and I also feel it sitting on top of my skin. Like, it didn't blend all the way in. Like, my skin don't feel like it sucked it all up. No. Before I leave, I'm going to be finishing up my complexion with you guys here in camera. I'm going to start with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector. This is in the shade 1 Fair. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit with my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. This is my favorite favorite concealer brush if you don't have it you need it i was gonna use this concealer from cosas but there's no way this is too light the foundation looks like if i use both of them i'm gonna look crazy i'm not gonna do it to myself i'll be using my anastasia beverly hills magic concealer on the shade number five this is like full b and it blends like a dream and it stays on all day Before I blend the other eye, I'm going to set this one first. Make sure I don't have no creases. You can actually leave this concealer sitting for a little while. It's not going to get cakey. It's not going to dry. None of that. I'm going to set it with my Holy Grail powder. This is the one from Pomegraph. Translucent. And I'm using the Morphe E48 brush. This is what I have on my eyes, the Natasha Nona Glam Palette. Let me finish my lower lash. I'm gonna be using my Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer on the shade Full of Life. This is extremely creamy and easy and fast to blend, to apply, everything, guys. It looks orangey right now, but once you blend it on the skin, it's not. Now with my Morphe E62 brush, I'm going to be picking up a little bit of the Rare Beauty Cream and Bronzer. This is my favorite, like the perfect brush for the nose contour. You see how it's like an angle brush, but it's skinny. It's small. It's like the perfect size and the perfect thickness for your nose. Do my nose contour with this brush every day cream or powder look at a perfect line come on come on i only recommend you good shape especially if you are a beginner with nose contour this makes the job so much easier the same brush i picked up a little bit more for right here this is gonna make your lips look a little bit more powdery a little bigger and right here I'll be using the Cosas bronzer. This is in the shade medium. I love the packaging. The only thing I don't like about this is the smell. It is really strong. It smells like crayon, but it's a good bronzer for like a sun-kissed look. It have a little bit of like a shimmer, but it doesn't look sparkly. It's really pretty glowy but not too glowy I like it. now we don't look that pale the face don't look that crazy that's the reason why i'm using a big brush for my bronzer normally i like my bronzer a little bit more snatch you know more precise but i need to well, take up a lot of space with my bronzer 
So I'm wearing a cool tone eye look. I'm wearing gray, white. So I'm gonna be using this uh, baby from Jacqueline Hills. This is the cool tone blush palette, and I'm just gonna use a little bit of French Kiss. So it's like a very light, pinky blush. Mm, but on this skin, doesn't look that light. It's the first time I use this one. I always use the warm one. I like it. This one right here, and I'm gonna apply it on the apples on my cheeks. Last but not least, we have to apply powder. I'm gonna be using this one from Cosas on the shade Feathery. I'm gonna apply it on my whole entire face so it can give me a little bit more color. Without powder, it does feel a bit tacky, so I do recommend you to set it, especially if you have oily skin. Let me take one last glance and let me bring you all up in my grill with my fenty beauty 170 i'm gonna pick up the powder and i'm gonna be doing the buffing technique on my whole entire face i'm picking up a little bit more and i'm gonna apply it right on top of my pores see if it gets a little better and this is how it looks with powder i already set my whole entire face All right, babe, so I'm done. It is 11.38 in the morning. I'm leaving. I'm gonna bring you guys with me again, and then we be back at the end of the day so I can give you my final thoughts. Mwah! You know, really quick before I go outside, I am gonna show you how it looks in natural sunlight. I just finished up my makeup. It is 12 noon. And I mean, I like it. I just feel like it looks a bit light on me. The shade, it is not my favorite, but it does not here, not there. If everything looks good at the end of the day, we figure another shade out. It looks really smooth and blurred on top of my pores. Let me go outside. And this is how it looks outside. It is so sunny, man. I can open my eyes. And my truck, it is so dirty. I'm gonna take it off your wash today, so. Don't look at that. <laughs> I'm at the mall and I've been wearing this a foundation already for like two and a half hours. Close to three hours. And this is how we are looking. I was wearing a mask. I don't know how everything is looking. I don't know if I have lipstick. I don't know if I have a mustache. But hopefully not, right? Let's see. All right, see you in a couple of hours. Just check myself, and I like how things are looking. The foundation feels really lightweight, comfortable on the skin. So I'm at Sephora. I'm buying a, a lip liner from Makeup and Mary that I want to try. And one of the girls at work here just told me that my makeup is spectacular. What do you think about that? So this foundation must look good. What do you think about my skin? I don't number know. Number one, I mean, you look looks... beautiful. You always do. But number two, I mean, like look closer, I'm like all oh, right here. You know, if it looks dry or greasy or oily or like you don't like it because it looks whatever. No, I just think I think it looks dry. It looks dry. Okay. What else? Um, and I don't know what else to say, baby. But other than that, you look <laughs> good as fuck. <well. laughs> We dry, we dry skin. Hey babes, no. I brought you all up in my grill. I lower my lights and this is what it is. This is what we have. Check it out really quick before I give you my final touch. It feels dry and it does look dry around my mouth, right here on my chin. I barely have foundation left on my nose. I appreciate the fact that my blush, it's there. I still have. And this is a little burn that I've been had already for a couple of days. The little scab came off and it's way better than what it was before and this foundation it is accentuating the texture right there and it is emphasizing my little peach fuzz that i have right here like it is time for the dermaplaning and i am going to be doing it later on when i'm done with this video but for now like check it out like it looks crusty it does Alright babes, so we're back. We took this video really long. It is already 1.21 in the morning the next day. I had this foundation for like 12 hours, a little longer than that. And it's time for my final thoughts, no BS. What do I think about this foundation? I just want you to know 
remember actually that my job is to always tell you straight the fuck up what it is about the product i'm reviewing without hair my tongue i know there's a lot of people loving this foundation i like it too but this is definitely another foundation that i think it's not for everybody besides the packaging of course it is a beautiful clean foundation with amazing skin loving ingredients in it it is the perfect definition of a natural super skin like foundation and i appreciate the fact that it's super lightweight it doesn't feel heavy or makeup -y on the skin at all if you already tested this foundation i want you to let me know in the comment section down below if right after application after you were done blending it did you felt it a bit dry on your skin nine out of ten you did and i'm gonna tell you why but that's one of the reasons why i know that this foundation looks better without powder and i did set it today with the cosas powders so tomorrow i'm gonna be testing it out again with zero powder i'm not gonna set it and i'm gonna leave you a pink comment in the comment section down below letting you know what happened this foundation is gonna look so nice stunning on combo and normal skin if you have oily skin this is gonna be a dreamy foundation for you it keeps your natural oils at base it doesn't get oily or greasy at the end of the day it's gonna look flawless but it's definitely not my favorite foundation for dry skin my skin is dry right now I try to keep it the best I can, but this foundation after like 10, 11, 12 hours now is looking crusty in real life. So that's not the point either. And if you have extra dry skin with a little bit of texture and dry patches, please stay away from this foundation because this is a foundation that the longer it sits on your skin, the better it looks because it has to warm up with your skin and your natural oils. And if you don't have natural oils coming through throughout the day, this foundation is not gonna do a justice on your dry skin. It's pretty, I like the way it looks, but only for like eight hours. If you need something that is gonna hold you over for longer than that, this is not the one. Right, babes, I'm still gonna give credit where credit is due. This is a beautiful good ass foundation just for certain people. Lucky you if you don't have dry skin <laughs> because I do love the skincare ingredients in here, especially Arnica. You guys already know how I feel about Arnica. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this foundation? What do you think about my face right now? You're gonna pick it up, you're not. And if you already bought it and tested it out, please let me know. Again for another great video. I love you all so damn much to the moon and back. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope now you are considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever. So go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so YouTube can notify you every time I upload new videos. Mwah! See you on the next one.